All right, hello everybody. Here we are at Xenogears Day 6. It's kind of like Day 5.5, because the last uh, stream went pretty short. <clears throat> but that's okay. We're going by days. Uh, we left off with, uh, right before I battled before, uh, Gebler has attacked Shavat. We have to do the generator battles here. <clears throat> Let me double check my equipment real quick. This response is so low. Um, I should probably try to find a way to pull that up. Sacrifice some defense. <clears throat> Do have an extra. Oh, you know what? I don't need the E circuit. So let's do that. <laughs> Alright, that's looking a little bit better for Bart. Uh, yeah, Ellie's still good. Faye should still be good. We're gonna be using what? Who else we use? Rico and. I think Billy? No. <clears throat> well, the enemy is almost there. Are you ready now? Let's go for it. Let's just do them all in order, I guess. There's really no particular order you need to do these in. Wanna check equipment? Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> Buckeye, what's up, dude? How's it going, my man? Now that any of that matters, I already checked the gear equipment. I don't have anything against you, but I can't turn back now. It's her saying, well, I still am technically an officer of Solaris, but I'm going to destroy you all. You finally hit the affiliate diesel, oh my goodness. Dude, I I'm so happy for you, Buckeye. <laughs> This could probably one-shot everybody. I'm pretty sure it will. And that's why we throw Ellie on this fight. <laughs> Dude. So, ha that, that's freaking awesome, man. So, what are... I think the, the requirements are, like... I can't remember. What are the requirements? I think it's a hundred followers and you have to, you have to grind or like, yeah, pretty much stream your grinding. <laughs> I was going to say the other way. Grind your streaming. Like you have to stream like 30 days in a row or something like that. Oh, 50 followers, three average viewers. Ah. <clears throat> Heck yeah, Buckeye. Dude, your next stream. You're getting a sub from me, my friend. Stream over seven days and something. Uh, that's the other requirement I was thinking of. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up. 
Yeah, you need to get need a, a good sub notification. Now you need your emotes. Now you have now you can do like so many pretty cool things with streaming now that you're affiliate, which is dumb. Like all of it, it should be available to everyone, but I get it. Like they want you to make sure you're you're a streamer. What if I can do? Yeah. But it's only gonna do one per. A miss! That's why I upped his response so he wouldn't miss! Still, though, they're doing no damage to him, which is just freaking hilarious. Kimmy! Hello. They're doing no damage. Oh, I should just boost her this fight. Yeah, I'm gonna throw boost on now. Kimmy, thank you for blessing this run. Hello and good evening. I think Bart has his level two. I don't think I'll need level two. Where am I? Oh my god. <clears throat> The 19th Buckeye. <laughs> Is that how the number thing works? <laughs> Start a new job on March 1st? Nice, Kimmy, congrats. Yo, you are, does that mean you're getting out of Dollar Tree? Because that's what's up. As someone who also works in retail, I know the true quest to get out retail. Hell yeah! I often refer to... Oh, you can only, only, to only work one job. That is awesome, Kimmy. Heck yeah. If you don't mind me asking, uh, what, what kind of job is it? That's what's up! Pippity poppy, give me the Zabadon. Yes, sir. That's for you, Kimmy. Congratulations on your new job. Uh, oh yes, this I think is Rico. We need to check his equipment. Dink and flink. <laughs> Thank you, Buckeye. Dink and flink. Uh, Rico's good too. It looks like a check. Oh, I remember checking his equipment before I saved last time. Mortgage loan disbursement. Get to give people money. Hell yeah. That's what's up. That's pretty cool. None of these an uh, enemies can do any damage to armor that I've equipped on everybody. <laughs> like, defense is so high, it's just like, yeah, you, you're not doing nothing. This guy, he'll do some damage, though. So everybody needs a... Everybody is eventually going to need one when they want to buy a house, and it's going to buy it outright, which... Who the heck does that? So that's doing good work. Yeah, that's true. I think that's how my grandma got into real estate. Ooh, that was a lot. She got into real estate by starting with like a mortgage loan company. All right, so I'm gonna use my level two death level three. Just take this dude out. Do not do that attack again. Crab looking thing. Grand Slam. I didn't think that'd be enough to kill it. That's why Rico is on this fight, because he's a tank. No, not again! This is not good! Alright, I think we got it. This should kill him. Shadow? Yeah, it's this fight. Thanks for the good luck. Oh, yeah! Right, that's honestly, I think, the, the hardest one out of all of them. <clears throat> the one with Faye coming up here isn't that bad. 
But the next two fights after the last generator are pretty epic, though. I'm very happy to be at this point. Faye, you're a good dude. I can do it! <laughs> nice, Kimmy. So basically what you're saying is... It's a pretty good entry-level job. You should be connecting with all this. He has the highest response out of everybody. This weird looking thing. 2000. Ooh, definitely want to crash. Thank you, Shadow. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping in. Definitely uh, get some sleep. That's a lot of damage. <clears throat> Alright, we're up to level two. I should probably throw on booster here. Oh, we're getting dangerously low here. I should have threw on booster at the beginning. I just forgot. It's not too bad. Got another one. Uh, Alright, we should be okay. Nice block. We did it! All four gate generators are safe. Okay, it's ready. So the last one is this. Oh no. We gotta fight action. Shavad's gear forces? Beat it, this isn't an opponent for you. Oh, you're gonna get crushed. What are you doing? Dang. Just like evaporated. Why this? So you can be test subjects for this guy. Uh oh. What was that? Actually, it's a new weapon. The anti-gear psycho jammer. Psycho jammer. <laughs> well, it's all won't move. Verge isn't responding either. Damn, what's going on? Bragander isn't working right at all. Is this his doing? Powerful electrical waves are interfering with gear's response circuits. Don't worry, it'll soon pass, but that much time is enough to erase you from the face of the earth. Humans are an imperfect, foolish life form. I will show the greatness of a perfect life form. Action, the combination of human wisdom and the strength of steel. At this rate, I can't do anything. Are you saying we have to sit here and take it? Yeah? That is not what I mean. What if, if Sibzin? It's got to be up to Maria. And maybe, just maybe, what I'm saying that is, is it would not be surprising if it is equipped with an anti-jamming shield. Listen, Maria, if the other gears become immobile, you and Sibzin are the only hope. You're full of spirit. You can decide what to do for yourself. More than that, I don't want to say it, but your father is no longer in there. Stop it, you wouldn't know. Even though it may be, I hate to me. 
Might as well expect the worst then. <laughs> Jesse with the hard truths. He's just, yep. All right, we're all dead. I'm going. What are you saying, Choo Choo? So please let me go along. No problem, the gods will look after us. Let's go. Choo Choo is gonna save the day! <laughs> Oh, this freaking part's so great. Oh, there goes Maria. No, Choo Choo, don't. Leave it up to me, Maria. No sweat. What's with this astronomically unintellectual looking low level animal? Don't you be rude to me. I'm not a low-level animal. I'm Juju. Oh my god. Let's get ready to rumble, you bad boy. Get your butt ready. You should better get crossed to the other end of the horizon. Oh my god, Juju. Jojo! <laughs> Juju Super Saiyan! Oh my god. It's our first Juju fight. I did it! I did the big transformation. Choo choo! Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. You can't hurt the choo choo. For a low class, low level life form, you're pretty good. I'm not a low level life form. I'm choo choo. Don't be a bad loser. If you want to apologize, you can do it while you still can. <laughs> Die, you pathetic animal, die! Uh oh. Choo choo, no! Oh no, choo choo. Choo choo got messed up. Do you believe we have choo choo as a playable character now? Choo choo! I see. You're a giant native life form of this planet. You're not a young rain car. <laughs> Species name Toteskichu Chupoplin. <laughs> Intellect astronomically low. They still haven't gone extinct yet? But through genetic engineering, they're supposed to have been minimized in size. Probably one of the survivors that had their limiters removed by the wise men from Shabbat. Intriguing. You'd make an excellent guinea pig. I'll use you for many experiments. Big sister Maria. Madari? She's talking? No, you shouldn't be here. It's dangerous here to stay in. Calling your father. What? <laughs> Great question. No, it's not that scary thing over there. Time for Maria, save the day.
sorry. I'm late. Let's go. Slares. Slares Amy is waiting. Yesterday a clown held open the door for me. Such a nice jester. Such a nice jester. <laughs> Kimmy, thank you for the bit. Such a nice court jester. What did Batman say to Robin before yeah, they got in the car? Robin before they got in the car. Uh, I don't know. Besides, then, is that Maria? Robin, get in the car. Robin, get in the car. <laughs> God. You, who are you? Of course, it's me, Nikolai. Look at this, Maria. The result of my research. This huge, powerful, forever shining body. There'll be no aging and death. I was reborn as a new breed. I loved my father in those days when he was human. His warm smile. I wanted him to be by my side forever. Maria, you're my daughter. You know how stupid humans can be. You don't need to perish along with these feeble humans. Now come, Maria. Start a new life with me. We shall begin a new chapter in life. Let's build a bright future together. I'll be by your side and protect you this time for sure. I promise you. Don't do it, Maria. The jig is up! Saibzen? Saibzen? What? You dare stand against me, your creator? This is... Saibzen? Interesting. I'll take you on. I'll show you how great Nikolai is and the power of the action. Oh man. Grizz Marie already has level 3 too. A jumper cable walks into a bar. The bartender says, I'll serve anything. you, but don't start anything. <laughs> that would be bad. his avatar. Maria, can you hear me? I'm going to release your graviton cannon from its seal by the remote control. Use that to defeat me. Father, have you come to your senses? No, I can't do it. Graviton cannon, you yourself had it sealed up because of its destructive power. Father, if I use that on you. Fire, it doesn't matter. I, Nikolai, no longer exist. Before I was brainwashed by Solaris, I implanted a conscience circuit in oxygen. This would respond and activate in the presence of Cybzen. My message is coming from there. And during the battle, I transferred all of my data from there to Cybzen. I may have lost my body, but my spirit is with Cybzen. No, with you, Maria. Now and forever. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Cybzen, no. I can't control you, father. Are you doing this? Please don't make him shoot. He's gonna make him shoot. Oh no. Oh no. No! Dang. 
No. Straight up one shot to me. Wizardry ring. That's a pretty good one. Father. Thank you, everyone. The generator is repaired and the gate is developing as usual. And Maria, you did very well. I was very regretful about Dr. Nikolai. Solaris put the doctor through all of that. We must defeat them as soon as possible and restore freedom. Yes. Queen Zephyr, we will also fight to bring down Solaris. To begin with, where is Solaris? How do you get there? Solaris is hidden from human eyes by three gates. One of the gates is under the Ethos HQ, but it is unreachable even with gears. I don't know where the other two are yet. Till we destroy the three gates, the path to Solaris will not open. In addition, we've received some disturbing news. Eve has invaded Nissan. What the? Shakan? Their target is probably somewhere in the Earth. The secret royal treasure of Eve. An Omni gear sealed up by Ronnie Fatima. Damn, this is no place to hesitate. I'm going to Nissan. We can't let Shakan have his way. I see. I can't leave Nissan to its fate. Okay, first let's head to Nissan. Your ship has been equipped with an aerial module. Originally, it was the ship used by Bart's and sister Ronnie. Make free use of it. We are now an aerial ship! Um, can you take me along with you? Maria, come on, you're already part of the party. I have run request, Faye. Take Maria along with you. This child since her youth has been destined with no choice but to fight. Until she settles her own fights, she will not be able to move on with her life. Go, Maria, and find your person purpose in life. On your own. I got it. Let's go together, Maria. We're friends from now on. You and... You and Sibes in too. Became friends with Maria! One of the sages, Gaspar, has returned. Gaspar is the one who taught martial arts to Khan and Wiseman. I'm sure he'll be able to teach you new techniques that will be able to help you on your journey. I've already told Gaspar before you leave that you should learn from him. I got it. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Welcome back, Gaspar. What about Balthazar and Melchior? No, I haven't seen them in ever since. Besides, your majesty, I came here to watch over them so that they do not take the same foolish mistakes again. Your majesty, the army gear on the ground is moving. The girl named Ellie was nearby and it reached to her. Musical oh! note aerials in the sky when you lose small mind you free your life. Musical note. Unholy, that was beautiful. Thank you for the 100 bits. How's it going? My dude. It's a matter, of course, but the girl doesn't intend to write it, just like her. She knows it unconsciously, the existence within her. She was the same age, same as Sophia? I'm sorry. No, I don't mind. I'm not him. Well then, I'll go take a look at their limiters. There's an Omni Gear in the basement of Shavat that activated when Ellie walked by it. Like, an ancient gear. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that isn't a red flag. I don't know what is. <laughs> Faye and the guys at Gas uh, uh, Gasper removed a part of the limiter and inserted it in their gears. Plagiarism! Choo Choo and her friends got together and rejoiced over their safety! It was natural for them to have a party, and their sweet, dangerous night went on and on. <laughs> Just like a never-ending dream. No, let's not. It's a whole other story. Oh, uh, the choo-choo party. I want to hear all about the choo-choo party. Ain't no party like a choo-choo party. Hey, where are you going to without me? Choo-choo will go anywhere, even to the end of the world. Did you choo -choo hear about the new corduroy pillows? They're mm -hmm. making headlines. 
Did you hear about? Oh my god. They're making headlines. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> Too good. I had a pe I had corduroy pillows before, and they do that. I'd always sleep like this, and I'd have like lines that went like across my face, and then they went into my arm. <laughs> but they were comfy. There's a corduroy comforter too. Oh, it was so comfy. All right, so. Basically, what Gaspar did says they removed limiters. Like, every character should have. Yeah. A little bit extra boost in their death blow learning. So, there are elemental death blows that have just been unlocked now. We just have to learn them. Each character has a death blow that is like fire, ice, water, all that good stuff. Or, uh,. Fire, ice, water. Like, fire, ice, wind, and earth. Good old Gaspar. I don't think there's anything left to do in Shavat before we head to Nissan. Um, go look at the gear shop again. What is that? Choo choo here in the gear shop? I think so. Oh, he's... No, he's not the gear, gear shop guy. Alright. Oh, I think it's him. No. Done with Shavat for now. Yeah. Hey, redacted. Biopokey just put on a vid on YouTube about Xenogears, and it's pretty legit. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I love watching uh, videos about Xenogears, especially new ones now. I will definitely check that out, Redacted. Thank you. If you're in my uh, Discord, do you mind like putting that in general or whatever? Because I'll forget. <laughs> Just whenever you get a second. That sounds pretty cool. I'd love to check that out. Uh, this next part coming up, do I want to stick with Ellie and Bart? We have to stick with Bart, but our third character could be Rico or Billy. I can just stick with Ellie right now. Thank you, Redacted. I appreciate that. We are currently anchored at Shavat. Our Yig was reborn with Shavat technology. This vessel will now be named the Third. The operations are a bit different from the previous Yig, so you'll have to learn the workings all over again. We are now an aerial battleship. Yeah, you want to be <laughs> slightly a little bit more respective and just be like, hey, fuck you guys. I'm out. All right, here we go. We can now fly. Oh, this is where it gets real good. 
Screw this on the ground battles. Now that we fly, go where we want. <laughs> oh, that's a dream one day. Be able to go full half baked on a job. F you, F you, F you. You're cool. F you, I'm out. And throw a cheeseburger at someone's face. I love the ship when you can fly, it's so good. That is just so much faster than swimming or swimming. Uh, going through the water. Alright. quickly Redacted, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Take it over. Let's save Nissan all over again. <laughs> City's awfully quiet for some reason. I don't see any of the townspeople. How's it over on your side? Everywhere along the roads was also just as quiet. What's your take on this, Sig? From what little I've seen, there isn't anything much I can say. Either they haven't found what they're looking for yet, or they've already found what they're looking for, but just haven't, but have just left behind some guards. Either way, we still need to check on the safety of the residents before we even think of pulling out. Hey, by the way, how is Margie holding up? From the looks of it, she doesn't seem much different from her usual self. But how she feels on the inside, well, who's to know? Really? Well, thanks for looking after her, Sig. No problem. Anyway, I shall go and command the other unit. Alright, be careful. Margie, I thought I told her to stay put in her ship. She probably couldn't keep calm just staying inside the ship. Yeah, I know, but, well, she's come this far, so we can't stop her now. All right, then, let's get moving. Check that out. I'll check that out in a minute. <laughs> oh, no! Surprise! We're back from Wendy's! Got a Baconator! Hi, everybody! Great to see you. Where's my Frosty? <laughs> there better be fries that dip in it. I need my Frosty fries. These are good fights to just death blow grind off. Oh, he's probably still dead. Nope. Oh. You hear the battle music? 
All of a sudden they just hear the music like, what? What? Just get hit. <laughs> you motherfucker, I asked for spicy nuggets. I asked for spicy nuggets. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. Spicy nugs. Where's my spicy nugs? Redacted, a level 11. Oh. <laughs> Give me the cookies. This is where we just have to like run around town finding all the enemies. Usually they run to you. You just have to like pretty much a gauntlet right now. 7 AP! Now have 7 AP, that's the max. At least for Faye, he's got it. So now Faye can like really bring some death blows. Oh, Ellie got it too. Hell yeah. Damn. Oh, she still got another one. Must boss the noobs! Stop with the grenades. Block a whip like that. Damn. I'm hoping to learn like death blows after every fight now. Hey! Nice to see you too. I'll have to heal probably after this fight. Oh, the dodge! Your timing cover that was leaking oil. Okay. That is equally as bad. <laughs> Man, that's a kind of a rare thing to go bad to. Believe it's the thing that evenly distributes the oil and balances it out. And if that's leaking, then yeah, you could have pretty much oil just going probably all over the place. As long as it didn't jump time, you're golden. There you go. I think we have one more fight after this. Bart's got one more level and then you can get, uh... Alright, so this guy's stuck on the wall right there. <laughs> so you have to, like, kind of run down so you'll run into him. Let me heal real quick. Ooh, yeah. That can happen, like, while you're driving, too, and it's the worst. I had that happen with uh, my antifreeze hose. Oh, that was the freaking worst. Had antifreeze all over the damn hood. Car overheated. I thought it was going to blow up. That was one of the worst days ever. 
And it wasn't that the well the car wasn't like the car overheats a little bit, but if you get antifreeze like anywhere on like the engine while you're driving, it's instantly like evaporates into smoke and it looks like your car's on fire. <laughs> It was more just the antifreeze, like, lighting on fire. Yeah. Good old Florida heat just destroying your hoses. Probably, like, the most car part accessory bought in Florida is, is a hose. Because <laughs> they just melt away. A few days after you got a recall under the... Oh, no. Good, looks like we clean up all the soldiers who are in the town. Wipe them clean. That sucks. With the help of Faye and his colleagues, Nissan was freed from Shakan's army. However, the Fatima Jasper and the legendary treasures of the Ave royal family were still in danger. And now he's going to play his last card, and Shakan's true intentions will be brought to light. Uh oh. Thank you, Unholy. <clears throat> so we saved the town, but still got to find the treasure, which is somewhere here. Too quiet. Way too quiet. There are no signs of residents yet. Where is everyone? So good. You okay? Sister, are you wounded? I'm fine. Margaret and Bartholomew, I'm sorry. They're all being sacrificed. I took some troops and searched the area, but I couldn't find anyone. I mean, they might be. Really? Earlier, after everyone came out, over half of the residents have fled from Nissan. After that, Shikan's position in the country was, co was compromised, so he didn't care about reputations anymore and attacked this land. I see. The last desperate plan to reverse the situation. Sister, I assume the people remaining in town are... Yes. Hiding in the mausoleum. Mausoleum? Hiding in a grave? The great mothers and kings of Eve of old are revered there. It's not just some regular grave or anything. Bartholomew, about that. Shakan in the Fatima Jasper. He's after the Fatima treasure. Kimmy and Gigi? Treasure? He wants to treasure what is he doing attacking here? Huh? Ah. Uh, actually, the Fatima treasure is in the mausoleum. <laughs> there was even Father's will there, but I didn't tell anyone. Treasure? You mean that thing in the picture scrolls you showed me earlier in your base? Yeah. If you follow that legend, you're supposed to get your hands on some great power. We must stop them somehow. There's no problem. The Jaspers, they plan to use the mo former mother's retinas. What? 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 Remove the deceased mother's retina and break the seal. That's insane. Use the buddy of Margie's mother. What? Mom. I'm sorry. They used innocent citizens and sect followers as a shield. There was no other way. The truth we heard previously from Margie about the Jasper's true form and how it's used. They now know. I'm truly sorry. Well, I don't blame you. They had hostages. Wait a moment. Retinas? What are you speaking of? The Fatima Jasper is the topaz blue pupils of the Fatima dynasty. In other words, a retinal pattern. The doors to the treasure are opened by that. Or so it is said. However, no one has ever used it. It's not to be used for minor conflicts. The doors are to be open only when the kingdom is truly in danger. So neither I, nor my father, nor my grandfather, nor my great-grandfather have ever used it. 
So that that is the true form of the Jasper. Damn. That old coot. He wants to profane a holy person's corpse? That's unthinkable. It is a closely guarded secret, but the Ethos people are not holy men. <laughs> they simply supervise. Yes, of course they wouldn't feel anything. Let's go, Bart. Before the mausoleum is trashed. Alright. Young Master, I have a proposal. Currently, Ava is in confusion with Shakan running amok. It should be very easy to bring down the center with no Gebler units around. It would be the best time to make a return to the capital. That's a good idea. Shakan is most likely thinking of the Fatima Jasper as his last card. While we prevent the young one from handing over the treasure to Shakan, a separate force will take back the capital. Then he'll have nowhere else to go. I got it. Sounds good. You can pay everything back in one shot. Let's split up. I'll go to Mausoleum. I'll take Faye and... I decided, I thought I wanted to do Ellie. Yeah, I'm gonna still, still bring Ellie. I, I, I wanted to bring Billy, but Billy, he's good. Ellie needs to grind her death blows a little bit more. You don't have to. Oh yeah, sorry Margie, come along with us. All right, I'm counting on all of you. He's a dead man the next time I see him. Bart is pissed. Well, let's get going. Where is this mausoleum? There's an entrance to the rear of the cathedral. So first of all, we have to get on that road that runs around this town and go in through the back way. Do we have to walk that far? The distance to the mausoleum isn't that much, but I don't know how much more there is to go from there. You haven't been inside that yourself, Bart? Yeah, this is my first time to go beyond the mausoleum too. Well, the place is all sealed up. Even I haven't been far inside of it. So neither Margie nor I know much about it. Sig and them have already taken off, so we won't be able to return to the ship for a while. For now, we're just going to have to work this out on our own. Alright then, I'm going to go on ahead and wait for you at the entrance. We'll come once we finish our preparations. So could you wait for us at the entrance until then? So I think I can buy some upgrades. Might be some in the shop here. I don't know if it's in the shop. I think they're all still in the mausoleum. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to find the tool lady. Why don't we just leave the necessary money? Oh, okay. So we can just leave the money at the counter. <laughs> I love the game's explanation of telling me that even though the shopkeep is not there, you can still buy stuff by just leaving the money behind. Perfect. It's just like Super Mario RPG. Shopkeep's so scared, he's like, just leave the money on the counter. See items first. It's such a great explanation. Your sub notification is ready. Aw, snap. Cannot wait to sub to Buckeye. I think we're good. I'm gonna sell some stuff real quick. Yeah, 
in there when I saw it. Krusty Krab Pizza. I love SpongeBob. Are you kidding me? All anime crossing themed. That's pretty cool. To <laughs> clean it, it gets dirty again instantly. Yeah, I know that feel. Know that feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, brother. Uh, oh yeah, we need another warm mail for Bart and the warm. The noise setup, yeah. So you can use, uh, the easiest way to do it, if you don't have a stream deck, is commands. Like, you can do commands from Streamlabs, and when someone plays a command, it'll play a sound file. It's usually the easiest way to do it. Or you can set up, like, macros. It's always an option as well. I was never smart enough to set up the macros, though. <laughs> Part with Battle Apron. Alright, let's go. We're done. Let's do the thing. Let's do it! <laughs> Buckeye, sounds good. Enjoy the lurk. And enjoy dinner. Gotta go to the side to get to the side. Gonna walk to the back where Margie is at the model. Thanks for waiting. Celebratory Cracker Bell for dinner. Yo, that's what's up. Pippity poppy, give me this up. Hell yes, yeah. Sir. You gotta get a celebratory dinner. My boy. If the city's ever in danger, the people are supposed to take refuge here. Oh, the infinite staircases. Wee! 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 Oh, Cracker Barrel. I haven't had a good dick Cracker Barrel meal in a long time. <laughs> Very long staircase. One eternity later. Going way underground, guys. It's a mausoleum. Yo, DoorDash, Cracker Barrel. Now that's what's up. That's the play. Hey now, don't rush me. It's pitch black. You can't see squat. Any day now, Bart. You haven't. You haven't forgotten what we needed to do. Hey, lay off and shut up. <laughs> it's been a while, so don't blame me. Crap, I really forgot. You want me to open it? No, I'm going to remember. It's like over here or something. There's something that resembles a panel. Move it. Aha! Went to a religious elementary school as a kid. I remember playing this game. Uh, the, the angels in the church, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bad idea. Redacted, holy crap. That's funny. That's actually a funny story because that's how this game almost didn't uh, get translated to the, uh, to the states is because the people that were translating it were having having such a hard time 
and they were worried that the religious aspects of this game and the ideas and theologies and everything that comes with this game would be too much for the U.S. And I think there was like a small little thing about it when the game came out about how crazy the <laughs> religious aspects are in this game. Um, but it, it, it was one of the reasons why we actually almost didn't get this game. And that would have been very sad. So I totally believe it and I totally get it. Like if you were to bring up the one the, the one winged angel thing, that is, yeah. The, the churches would look at you like you're, you're a unicorn on your head. Like what? Oh no! This is bad. We've gotten this far? They got past the secret entrance? What the hell? All right, Ellie, time to do your thing. Whenever you get over there. I don't have radiance yet. I'm gonna get that till later. Uh, I wanna get rid of this guy. I don't like the guys in the back. They can do spells. Oof. Stop shooting me. Ow. Ow. Stop with the bullets. Damn. Fail me now, Ellie. Well, was that max damage? I thought you could have probably done more than that. Where's Bahamut? Where's Shiva? dangerous there. Nah, we might as well just... <laughs> Stop missing the axes, I need those. There we go. Now, that was a close fight. Those bullets hurt. I think that was one good thing I always brought Billy for in this area, because Billy has a heal all. Lottie? It's Bartholomew. Margaret is with him too. Hey everyone, it's okay. The casket. Is Marty's mother safe? It's fine. She hasn't been touched. Whew, okay, what a relief. Is everyone okay? Yes, somehow. Shakan, where did he go? Oh yeah, Shakan? No, I haven't seen him. The only people that came here were those soldiers that threatened me to stay quiet. I'm sorry, Lottie. If only I'd been braver. He isn't here yet. That's odd. The ground. What's happening to the town now? I took care of upstairs. It's okay to go back. Is that true? Bartholomew, you're indeed powerful. I've seen you come and go from time to time, and I didn't think much of it. Exactly who are you? Everyone, I need your attention. My friends are currently headed for blood of it. They're on a mission to take down Shikan from the seat of power. There is a need to rebuild this country from scratch again. I've inherited the task from our late king. If all goes well, we'll be able to soon make it a reality. 
please believe me and wait for me. You're going to defeat Shakan, the late king? Then you're... The town's okay now. Let's go back up. Collect all your belongings. Come on, Bart. Just tell them that you're the frigging heir to the throne. It's really not that big of a secret. Lottie, be careful out there. I know you'll make it okay. And when you do, you have to promise that you'll come out and announce who you are. I want you to stand in front of the terrace of Castle Potima proudly. <laughs> He's the prince! He was number one! I don't know what happened or what made me say the things I did. That wasn't like me to say that stuff. You could have just told him that you were the prince. <laughs> exactly. No, I can't do that yet. I need to fulfill my father's last request. Alright. Let's get going. I don't think there's anything over here. <clears throat> Am I a pretty girl? <laughs> oh, I love that one. Me and Jen say that all the time. Very small elevator. It's awful dark in here. Oh, they probably have the power shut down because no one's here. We use this lower area as a mausoleum, so it's always minimal power available for use. But not even the sisters are allowed in here. It smells like mold. It's obvious. Practically no one's been in there. Oh yeah. That is the rest of the name on it. It's so good. It's like they knew his name was so long, but they didn't they didn't account for the slab. It's funny. Smitty Werber man from Oh, there's the wings! The angels! This is the same angel statue of the cathedral. So this is the door that connects to the great royal treasure. Oh. Fork. It's time for the Fatima Jasper to do its thing. Oh yeah, one of mine's closed. I'm here. So you literally have to look into each one, because he's got a bad eye. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, tech there. Fatima Jasper? Yeah. That punk Shikan mistook that for the royal pendant. That made it easier for us, so I kept my mouth shut. What's up ahead? Up ahead will be the... So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Oh my god. Oh my god. They say this was built before the country of Avia was founded. So, you ready to go? Yes. Oh, everything's red. Sure, are a lot of gauges and meters in here. Seal the door behind us would be a great idea, but they didn't do that. 
They weren't thinking, now were they? <laughs> I wonder which is more impressive, the pilot room on your ship or the one in here? My ship, of course. Uh, well, since they are our ancestors, I guess this one's better. And you, quit asking me questions like that. Anyway, it's not called a pilot room. It's the bridge, got it. Does it really matter? <laughs> Can't see a thing. Not moving. I think it's locked. Hmm. Want to go check out the great treasure first? Hmm. From the looks of it, Shikan hasn't found the great treasure either. Yeah, when we were leaving Nissan, Bart and them said that they've never been here. Well, first of all, let's go locate the tre great treasure. Can't pinpoint the location, though. So let's go find it, then we can decide what to do next. Ah, uh, no. In fact, once we leave here, uh, we won't have to see this room again. I know it's like really bad on the eyes. It's because the power's out, so it's like using emergency lights. Looks like a virtual boy room. We're just gonna go ahead on over here. Hey, tough guy. What's up, Jeff? What's going, dude? Where was the bright card in the seed last night? Um. Oh, where was it? I think it was the guard room in Nimbus. Yeah, so I had to go all the way into the Nimbus uh, to find it there. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think I ended with like a 240? Yeah, at least it was guard room and not like Valentina or seed spot. I have to do all that mess. Yeah, I ended with like a 240. It wasn't too bad. I know, right? Like, that's the one... <laughs> like, I woke up this morning, I'm like, did I really have a six, like, a, almost a sub-hour six-star seed last night? I'm like, yes, I freaking did. <laughs> I could not believe it. Energy block. Yeah, that was a crazy scene. Oh, there we go. First, I think we gotta go over here. I can barely see anything on my TV. I thought it was this way. And then the lights turn on. Oh, I must have passed it. Yeah, no, it's right here. Oh, is the door shut still? Oh, wait a minute, no. Hold on. I know what I gotta do. Yeah, there's a certain door in this hallway that has, I think, like, another eye reader. It's one of these. Damn it. Wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one. I'm so glad I remembered this. <laughs> There's another Jasper lock. Let's try it out. Alright, 
so I think, yeah, that opens the door. Let's go ahead and make the save here. They give you a save point. It's usually a good idea to use it. Something might be happening. Dun. There we go. Now it's open. In we go. Sound like a dial up modem. Kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, mama! There it is! For being in storage for so long, this thing's in great condition. It kind of looks a lot like Bard's gear. Huh? Oh yeah, now that you mention it. Well, if you trace my Brigander's history, it was a gear originally made in Ave that I customized. It wouldn't surprise me if there was some connection. Yeah, well, looks like there's no power drawn here, except for the emergency lights. A weapon to surpass the Xeno gear. The drive unit's unsealed. Control panels down there didn't do much. I mean, there's probably something around here. Now this I don't remember. I think, hold on, let me go up here. Um, hold on. For, yeah, I do this. be done here. is an inscription. It's an old Fatima. It's my ancestors. What does it say? Peace to all those who come here. Fearing great calamity, we sealed this legacy, entrusting its fate to you. What? And just like that, all you gotta do is say it and then everything turns on. We can say! My god, it's Kain! Bart's Omni Gear is pretty sick, though. I love the design of it. Now, how am I gonna get this out? You said it would appear above it if it read the eyes. You think you can move this building? Okay, let's go back to downstairs and try it. Father, looks like we're gonna have to move this. Sorry, but I'll have to borrow it. Yeah, we're gonna need this. We'll bring it back though. Maybe. So we gotta go all the way back to that first room we were in. I am. We're going all the way in order. 
We'll do Xeno Saga 1 through 3, and then Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade uh, Chronicles X is after that, and then Xenoblade 2? Yeah, we're doing all of them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, he's back. Bartholomew. Hey, aren't you the tool guy? You're okay. Yes, my wife and I escaped together. So what are you doing here? Yeah, well, when I returned to town, I heard you were deep in the mausoleum. I thought to myself, something's going on. I couldn't just stand there, so I came here. It's dangerous. You better go back. Oh no, I've come this far. I'm not going back. I'm gonna stay and help you. Cool. So if we need to buy anything, which I don't need to, I already made my purchases. Uh, I think it's the same switch. Yeah, me too. It's always the one thing. Being a fan of Xenogears, I always have to come to terms with is how they just utterly abolished the second half of this game. Oh yeah. I can do it. How far are we in this game anyway? Um, I'd say uh, as far as like to the end, I'd say we probably just crossed the halfway point. Like the end of Shabbat, I would like the Shabbat portion would probably mark like the halfway point. So we're a little past that. Yeah, it's a long game. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I've always said. We're coming out of the ground, by the way! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Looks straight up like a UFO saucer, dude. We surfaced! Next, open the Sky Dome. A sky Dome? Huh? Uh-oh. What's up? Huh? No, it's already moving. You moved it? No! That's not why. Oh, crap. No doubt, it's something I accidentally pushed. Bart? Woo! Bart, what did you do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, GG. Yes, this is the way. Oh, really? What? What are you talking about? Quit pulling. What the heck did you just press? Oh. Well, I wouldn't say it was a complete success, but it'll do for now. A really bright light just shot out. Did you just do something you shouldn't have done? Don't worry, I've never fouled things up yet, have I? Well, have I? 
How about, ladies and gentlemen, behold. Holy shit, Foul. <laughs> Tis not Babel Tower over yonder. Well, isn't it way cool? It floats from the Fatima Jasper. I call it FT Jasper, and you'll be able to see it from far off. I'm sure that last beam cannon could reach it. Well, I guess I wanted to show you all its greatness. Have you ever seen such a cannon? It don't mix it up with Bandicom's pea shooter. This one's many times powerful, many times more refined. After all that, it's used my answers to generate the of treasure. Yeah, this is the real thing, and don't you forget it. Now, as I was saying, I haven't fouled up yet. So, let's go get this treasure and go home. But first, we have to open that door in the dome. Flashback to that time we want to fight Bay. Bat flashback to that time that he shot him down in the sand cruiser. Flashback to the time that he shot him down in the aerial battleship. Many times Bart has screwed up. Didn't you say you hit the wrong button earlier? <laughs> hey, they all look alike. Oh, well, let's just start hitting some buttons. Whoa, is that safe? Uh-oh. Welcome to the Terror Dome. All right, let's hurry up and get the treasure outside. Well done, Prince Bartholomew. Thank you for unlocking the seal. That voice, Shakan. Oh no, he just opened it up right for Shakan, didn't he? Yup, here they come. Cool. Nobody invited you nerds. Get out of here. Damn you. This was all a setup? Of course. You don't really believe that the door would open up to dress for anyone. I simply leaked the information and merely awaited for your arrival. Crap, so that's why I haven't noticed your stench for a while. <laughs> Knowing your impulsive nature, I knew you would come, but I never thought you'd go so far as breaking the seal for me. Son of a... making a fool out of me. The soldiers have already secured this area. If you don't like it, come here and get some. Aw, oh, snap. You done did it. You done did it! Yep. <laughs> check, check that off. Bingo. Man, I want to up Ellie's speed so she can get that spell attack off. Boom! That just doesn't do enough. Get him, Margie! Rat fever! <laughs> 1 HP! Thanks, Margie! Oh 
my goodness. Mark, thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jade. Urza, how's it going? Hello, hello, and hello, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. Mark, how did your stream go? I am assuming you were playing Time Span. Or wait, no. Were you playing Final Fantasy last time? Awesome. Heck yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, an ambush. We got ambushed. This looks like Wild Arms even though I know it isn't. It is a little bit of the same art style though. It's like uh, Wild Arms too. Oh, I didn't heal Ellie. Ugh. I should probably do that. Um, let me take this guy out. Yeah, I gotta go for it now. The screen explode on combat. <laughs> Does Xeno Gears hold up? 100%. No! Why would you true? No! You're such a jerk! Dang it. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, uh, Xeno Gears definitely holds up. If you would like to experience this game again, I definitely uh, think you should. It's very long though, so you have to dedicate some time to it. You recognize the avatar picture. Hmm. I don't know if we've seen that one before. That wasn't even enough. These guys have a lot of HP. Poor Ellie. Uh, yes. That is exactly pretty much what, that's pretty much what happened, yeah. With this too. I don't, I didn't, uh, I, I've hinted a few things about this too, just for those that haven't, um, seen this game before, but yeah. The game drastically changes in this too. very different game when it gets to disc 2 without spoiling anything but we are still a good I would say in between 20 to 30 game time hours until we still get to disc 2 so it's definitely gonna be a while till we get there Oh no, he stopped him. Crap. That's okay. <clears throat> no, it wasn't a spoiler. I just don't want to mention too much about what happens in this too. I, it's definitely something that should be... Uh, Experience rather than just hearing what happened to this too. Um, this is bad. I, I think stop will eventually wear off. Dating simulator. <laughs> I would actually be okay with that. Rosa. Just 
Just saying. It's not that bad. It's just what this two could have been if they'd have just gave him the time and the money to finish it. it you're talking about one of the most epic, epic RPGs ever. Instead, it just got butchered. The game had its own fault in being a little too ambitious, though. Like they, they set out a grand scheme for this game to be like this massive, wide-scale RPG. I think they wanted it, like, even three discs or something like it. It was like three or four discs. It was like something ridiculous. Was, like, holy crap, guys. So I think that, I think with them also being a little overly ambitious, it also kind of forced Square at the time to be like, all right guys, let's, let's wrap this up. Uh, I think it's the next door, right? I think it's the next door. million HP killing me uh... there you go that that's that's kind of how I feel about it though what this game could have been just yeah, because when you hear, when you know, especially because I know all the content that got cut from this game, and it's a lot. It's like, oh, could have been so good. I mean, it's still an amazing game. It's still my favorite, but the the coulda woulda shoulda. Flash you. I'll put it like this. So like, uh, so you know how Metal Gear 1 is a two disc game, but like the second disc is just like that whole section with uh, like the PAL key. You gotta change the PAL key and, and all that. Like imagine you just like cut that off and the game gets scrapped and it just goes from there. Kind of what they did with Xenogear. You know, um. Yeah, I'm gonna take these guys out. I think it was also uh, Final Fantasy VIII was to blame. Because then they switched their focus to Final Fantasy VIII. Which is unfortunate. And ironic for me because I love Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> love that game. Right in the face! Do not shoot Ellie. Do not shoot Ellie. Thank you.
Jade with her first level. GG. Welcome to your first level of, of me. <clears throat> oh no, we're surrounded! One after another. Will these guys give up? Most impressive, Prince Bartholomew, but you'll go no further. Well, killing yourself honorably with a fitting death for a clergyman. There's much more than the ethos than you would know. We're not a single unit. We each have an agenda. We have no need to admit defeat just because the central area is gone. I have my own motives, and it is for them that I used Ave and Gebler. Now the treasure's mine, and I suggest you retreat now. Crap. There goes Margie, she's out! Mario's gonna save the day. Yeah, Mark. That's that's also very true. They wanted to get that out the door so they could just go on to the next project. I'm gonna take care of this once and for all. That detestable girl has made a fool of me for the last time. I'll send her and everything with her to the depths of hell. Damn it. Get the hell out of my way! Gone far enough. Sig! What are you doing here? Insight, dude? I left Mazes in charge of the capital. I was worried about you, so I returned here. They're at the capital! Shikan, it's only a matter of time until Blood of Rick returns to us. At this point, you have nowhere to go. It's not over yet. I've still got Margie. For now, she'll once again be my hostage until I get that Omni gear. No! Okay, my one open. It's locked on the inside. I'm gonna open the door again. That is a great thing about eight. I break that game open every time I play it. Relax, young master. Sig, what should I do? Pass the light through your good eye. I'll do the other half. What are you? Just do it. In theory, that shouldn't work. Oh. Welcome, you've got mail. Yes, it's unlocked. Sig, how did your eye work? We're we running out of time. We must return to Margaret at once. That's a typo. Margie, where are you? Uh oh. It's taking so long. But it's still an Omni gear. Imbeciles, she's just a child. What can she do? Hurry and get her. Might to get blown to pieces. Oh! Anyway, let's go. Yeah, this is bad. Margie, is that you? Moving it? Crap. Margie and the Omni Gear. You okay? My leg got shot. Looks like I'm causing you trouble again. Stupid! Why'd you put yourself in danger like that? 
It wasn't much, I just thought this is the least I could do for you. Dumb. Stupid. You're the biggest fool. <laughs> She's just sitting there laughing. Can you move? Uh-huh. I guess. Minor damage can be repaired. Aim for the cockpit. Uh-oh. It's too dangerous to go outside now. Can you hold on? Don't worry about me. What? There's no control stick. How am I gonna move this? Are you okay, young master? Sig, you know how to operate this thing? What do you mean? There are no controls. What am I gonna do? Uh. Ah? Oh, my eyes! Oh. Impudent little. He blocked it! How did it move? You must think. Apparently the Omnigear does not function by mechanical controls, but mental ones. Remember how Ellie and the Omnigear and Shavat responded. Margie probably moved it through the same means. The young one, try to envision the gear moving. Then the gear should react to the image in your head. Up. Oh. Yep. Yep, you might want to back up. Oh snap. She, no, she's not he's not making her stand. She's like laying down in the back. <laughs> she's like damn near unconscious. <laughs> I never healed the gears from the generator battles. <laughs> oh yeah, Bart and the Omni Gear, time to mess you up, boo! 1300, oh my goodness. No, hit Bart, hit Bart, hit Bart. No! Alright, we're good. Mark, GG. And you're still not dead. Watch a day of rusty ass. I almost had it. Hey, you're not getting away. Bye, says Shikan. He's like, I'm out of here. That pug's not going anywhere. Young one, please wait. Is Margie gonna be all right? Uh, oh yeah. Hey Margie, you okay? Margie, wake up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Margie, wake up! It's all right. She's not dead. Fortunately, the bullet passed through. I will apply some first aid. Later, when we turn to the city, we should have it looked over thoroughly. Good. I'm glad. When she passed out, I thought the worst. How you feeling? Okay. You know, when I passed out, I still he heard your voice. For some strange reason, your cries reached me. That's why I thought I had to help you. Oh. 
We were fighting together, weren't we? You protected me. But is this really the legendary gear and the scroll of our founding nation? The way it handles, it feels just like my bride gander. Except maybe it's a little more powerful. Perhaps. The controls, output, and weapons are similar and adjust to the strengths of the pilot's mental waves. If so, the pilot must be skilled at mentally merging with the gear to gain its true power. Margaret was able to move the gear through her strong desire to help you. It was her strength that moved it. Meaning, I'd have to get used to it. That would be the case. I already went through a lot of trouble getting it. Do not be discouraged. We now know that these Omni Gears were used in the battle between the Land and Solaris. Even now, the Ethos and Solaris are seeking the Omni Gears. At least, this one did not fall into their hands. Eventually, you'll be able to unleash its power. Let us hope you use it for the right reasons. Alright, Bart's got his Omni gear now. No activities for you. You'll have to settle down for a while. What do you mean, once in a while? Don't get so excited. Meanie! <laughs> got shot in the leg! Shot in the leg! And Margie's all right. Please tell Mason we'll be here a while longer. Preferred from our units in Bledovic. Things are unfollowing smoothly. Or unfolding smoothly. They have entered the castle. They are investigating Shikan's private room on the top floor of the castle. One more thing. The Yig is, on, on, is on station nearby and has picked up several gears on radar. Shakan, most certainly. But those gears went to the capital, then turned and came back toward us. He saw things weren't looking too good and ran away. Yeah, but it sounds like he's coming back here. What's here? About that, the info from the capital. Isn't there a gate in the area? A gate? Directly west of Nissan. Young Master, do you know the big cave over there? Cave? On the western continent? It's near the ocean. If I remember, it's big enough for a gear to walk into. Yes, there. They found evidence that there is some large building inside the cave. Shikan is heading for there. What's he doing? I guess we'll have to go and see. Time to roll out! I'll wait here for info from the capital. A gate! Of course I would like to actually see it, but this time I will pass. There are two more left, and besides, just in case things do not go well, it might be better to stay here and protect Margaret. Got it. I'll leave the rest to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna go fix up our gears before we go uh. back with some snacks welcome back uh where's the yig Oh, it's stationed. Crap. Crap! I wonder... Uh, I should have went and checked to see if the gear shop guy was in the shop. He might be there. So I'll have to go back. Let's fight. Yig jacked! <laughs> Experience points. So glad I did that fight.
Head back. See if he's in the shop before I just peace out again. Imagine they put the gear guy in there so I don't have to go all the way into the egg to buy gear stuff. Because we're about to do a pretty nasty boss fight with Shakan. So I need to make sure I'm set up. No! I don't think they sell me gear stuff. They do! A hole too? A whopping 2 XP. He's got a G45. Nope. Like, Omni Gear Anvari. This is gonna be good for a while. We haven't saved in a long time. So probably should do that. Also coming up on the two hour mark. Let's take a stretch break after. All right, you know what? Uh, let's take a stretch break now before we get into this. <clears throat> uh, very quickly, just small little two, three minute stretch -a rooney Walk around a little bit. And then we have a Shakan fight. Seventh any stretch. Get your cracker jacks. Potato chips and nachos. So I finally uploaded all my clip compilations to YouTube so I don't have to like Keep just adding them to OBS, which is the worst way. So we'll do this. I'm actually kind of curious to see if this one video um, transferred over. Okay. Come on, YouTube. Come on. There we go. Uh, ooh, looks like he did. Still got an issue there. Alright, that's fine. Let's go with this one. Alright. A small break. I'll be right back. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on, I'm down to the last guy. I can't die. No! Uh, okay. What? Oh. What? what? He just traded oh bow. <laughs> Excuse me? We literally sent each other the bow at the same oh. time. <laughs> That's oh so god. good. That's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. Multi-world Um. There you go, Hop. I think you can almost see it from here. Yeah, it's right there, dude. That's it. This is bad. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. It's coming around the corner. The God Gamer! <laughs> yes! But I still don't know what I'm supposed to do here yet. Yeah, this wasn't that bad. Oh no! Oh, that was so close! Oh my god! <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, but it almost went in the sand after I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> so when I freaked out earlier, that's what happened. I killed it and went in the sand and I lost it. 
Wait, where, where'd the ball go? Did it not, did it not go in it? Where'd the ball go? What? <laughs> where did it just come from? <laughs> it just popped up out of nowhere. I don't even know where it went. It just like fell out of the sky. <laughs> This guy is obsessed with mitochondria. Without it, we are nothing! This guy loves mitochondria. He's like in love with it. You cannot live without mitochondria. It is the pa- Um... I'm gonna gamble it! It's a pipe! Oh my god! Oh <laughs> no! I gambled and it did not pay off. Unfortunate. Whoa! I don't have a gun. God, that was beautiful, but could you get the Here's fuck out? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry. <laughs> it's time to make a world in anime where everybody lives in shower curtains. That is their... That is their apparel. That is their dress. Is a literal shower curtain. It doesn't even show it though. She's basically wearing a shower curtain. Just don't get booped. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> if you tell anybody that happens, I'll deny it up and down. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, <laughs> and to an extent, the air is salt. You breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt. just happened hello uh how do i reopen this door <laughs> what just fucking happened uh i got this though go 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 nope that won't work i was gonna try to iframe or here we go. Because <laughs> like I I got it in Hera and I looked away from the screen for a minute and just didn't realize I picked it up. I don't think that stream was saved, unfortunately, Bryce. Three Doritos, four Doritos, five! <laughs>
was scary looking. Some evil looking to me. What the hell is that? Uh, though, are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, Ken Griffey! That bitch is gone! See you later! Oh, my boy! Alright, hello, and we are back. Let us continue. Thank you all for being here and sticking through the break. Uh, alright, so we made our upgrades, or basically just refueled. The game does not refuel for you. You gotta refuel your own gears! Alright, uh, I'm just gonna back out. And, uh, head over here. This little cave we gotta be on the lookout for, where Shakan is. <laughs> I love those vods. I need to make new ones. I have six of them, and I've gone through all six of them. One of them, like, freezes for some reason. It just got an encoding error when I made it, so I need to make another one. Come on! This isn't even necessary. Yeah, I want to make some new ones one day. Two more experience To be, It's like a little cave over here. 100% sure it is. There's a time with Jasper there. FT Jasper. Uh, this way? Do, 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 do. I think I found it. I'm better off just killing the damn thing. Ignis Gate Cave. What the? The hole wasn't there the last time. Well, that's not good. There's survivors from the last battle. Time to wipe them out. Honestly, I should have brought Rico. Now that I'm thinking about it, but we'll be all right. Bart, or um, not Bart, but Billy. Billy would have been good. Oh, even Bart. <clears throat> These guys have a lot of HP, so they just take forever. Holy moly, three X attacks and still alive. No! That's a lot of damage. Oh my god. 
almost feeling like going, well, I can just throw a frame HP on real quick and heal Ellie. She's gonna need it for the boss fight coming up. Seems like they were waiting for us. I wonder if we'd come first if we did stuff on. Regardless, we gotta go on. It's gonna be an internal embarrassment if we let him get away. Yeah, I wanna do that for Ellie because she's hurting right now. Bart should be okay, but I'm gonna do it for him as well. This is a gate generator. Looks like something out of Star Wars. <clears throat> All snacked up. Punk. Not only was he sitting on the AV throne, he also controlled this. Speak of the devil? Exactly. To think you knew about the existence of the gate. Very interesting. The gate which divided Solaris from the Earth was under supervision of the ethos. In the beginning, it was supervised without any true knowledge of what it did. However, over the years, the ethos did their own experiments to reveal its true nature. They learned how to use it. For the sake of freeing ourselves from Solaris, we discovered a new way of using it. Oh, what are you doing with that thing? Gross. You! This was your original intention. You probably entered the, through this cavern. You just wanted the energy from the gate generator. Oh, something's not right. This can't be. This is ridiculous. This thing should be able to pull an adequate amount of energy from the gate. There shouldn't have been any problems in the design. Why? Why doesn't it move? What, did you mess up? If my father knew I was set up by a jerk like this, he'd turn in his grave. I didn't need this anyways. I'll take you myself. Do you not desire the power? Uh-oh. We've seen this before. Who? Ah! Him again? How do you get in here? How does he get in there? <laughs> he can just transform wherever he wants. That's probably why. I am Groff, the seeker of power. Dost thou desire the power? Power? What kind of power? I have the power of the gate, as long as I get this machine to move. Your powers are merely superficial. The tools in which you produced with your immature intellect. Now, do you think you can win? What are you saying? Superficial power? The meager efforts of you land dwellers are insignificant next to the true and only power. I shall endow you with my true powers. He's gonna do it again.
Groff did it again, so he powers up Shikami. <clears throat> this makes this fight even more annoying. It's like he was already a weak nerd. We could have took him on, you know, just fine like that. Uh, now there's a stipulation to this fight. I can't remember how it goes, though. Um, I think I don't want to attack him when he's attached. From what I remember? Let me see. Zero. Yeah. Can't reach to hit ya. What a nerd! Why don't you detach, you dummy? <laughs> so while he's attached, he'll heal. So I just gotta wipe him out as quickly as I can. Not bad. I can't remember if that's the only stipulation. He'll come off of it, though, and something changes. I might as well just do a triangle attack there. trying to attack me like do you not understand what's happening here Nice, 18 hundo. Well, it cost so much fuel, we can use that more often. Yeah, let's do a trial, I'll do zero damage, but just 13. Let's conserve fuel here. Uh, this could be bad. Never gonna detach from that? I guess not. I'm gonna wait to do that. Yig charge. Should have done triangle. Burning fuel here.
There he goes. So now he can't heal himself, but holy crap, that was a lot of damage. the booster off of the alley. Less attacks. Let's see what it looks like after this. Oh, he blocked it. Sorry. Oh boy. Woo, that was a lot. Two. Oh, that attack hits was slow. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I, don't know, I don't know how effective it's gonna be on gear, but. All right, let's do it. Yeah, charge! This attack is so cool. I was thinking even attacking it from in here. I love it. No, it did zero. It's shit. I didn't think it would do zero. Damn. <clears throat> Not enough output. Um, do it one more time. One more air rods, and I probably have to throw off booster. Hope I'm hoping this is the this is the kill shot. No, it's gotta be close though. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off booster there. Nice dodge. There we go. Not bad. Whew. All right, that's a that's a pretty tough fight. I had the benefit of going into it with some knowledge of the fight, but yeah, it can be a little annoying. How? This can't be! Shakan, 12 years ago, if you weren't so hungry for power, Margie would still have her family, and you wouldn't have had to live out in the desert. What would you know? Throne born brat. Throne? You can't have it. A king's gotta carry the heaviest responsibilities of all. It's a tough racket. Something you'd never understand, punk. Punk? <laughs> the gate's on fire. It's falling apart. We need to get out. Yep, run, run, run away, run away.
No, this cannot be. I'm sure Shakan's okay, just a flesh wound. It's pro he'll be back in Xeno Gears too, I'm sure of it. No, he's dead. Shakan is dead! Faye, if anything, I'm your friend, right? Sig, you won't change no matter what I do, will you? What is the matter, young master? Nah, I guess I have to do what I was asked. Or is he? <laughs> My good people of Eve. This is Bartholomew Fatima, the 19th king of Eve. Son of Edbert Fatima IV and the 18th king of Eve. First, one must apologize for the trouble caused by one's unavoidably lengthy absence from the palace. One especially wants to give one's condolences to those who've lost family in the war with Kislev. One will immediately call a truce with Kislev and begin reparations to victims of both countries. All citizens drafted as soldiers will also be allowed to return home. Let us work together towards rebuilding of Eve. One also has another final but important message. A declaration from the will of Edbart IV, who wished only for peace for his kingdom Eve. I, Bartholomew Fotima, the 19th king of Eve, do hereby declare, from this day forward, I shall abandon the monarchy and create the Republic of Eve. Master, what in Eve are you doing? This is my father's wish. I am sorry. What? You both have worked so hard for many long years to restore me to the throne. Now I'm no longer in line to be king, or anything else for that matter. The two of you are free to go. What are you saying? Unbelievable. <laughs> Master Sagird, can't you hear the crowd outside? They've chosen you as their king. You're going to be very busy. Sick. Won't you need some capable assistance? Well, here goes nothing. It's always, I always love that move. It's such a noble move by Bart. He knows that... This shouldn't be like a monarchy like that with an Eve. It's like we can settle this like adults. Oh, young master, you still haven't rested yet. Old Mason, there's one thing I want you to ask you. What is it? Where was Sagir born? Young master, that. He has blue eyes. It's the Fatima Jasper. Well, it was long ago, when his majesty and I were still young. Long before his majesty knew my young master's mother. His majesty was in love with a certain girl from a small religious sect east of Eve. This sect was quite different from Nissan, the ethos, but she was very beautiful. Then, she just disappeared. Later, there were rumors of her having a child. She disappeared? father abandon her? As far as I know, it was the opposite. His majesty was abandoned. Sig is from Eve's eastern desert. Indeed, when he was ten, he was assigned to his majesty, King Edward, as a squire. What? What? All this time, I mean, you can tell, like, they have physical appearances that are so like like each other like they look like they, they would be like brothers right young master <clears throat> yeah i can't sleep yes so much has happened at once he's sick what was your mother like she died when i was but a child why do you have any memories of her what kind of person was she hmm well she was very kind. 
but when I was born, it seems the doctors told her she did not have long to live. She lived in constant fear of that, and as a result, even if she met someone she liked, her fear of death was her drawback. She worried that she could not be with me to the very end. What about your father? He isn't supposed to know what that I was born. However, even for not knowing, he still treated me like a son. Why didn't you tell him you were his son? If my mother hid that fact, there had to be a reason. There is more to my father's will than what I declared today. I must share my inheritance with my brother. He also said you must split you and your brother's share with the people. That had always bugged me up until now. I didn't know what he meant. That's all he wanted to say. Good night. <laughs> it's Bart's way of saying, hey, I know, you're my brother. Even though you don't want to talk about it. Thanks to you, Ava has been taken back from Shakan and Gebler. Thank you. Now, in order to free other lands from Gebler and Solaris, we must destroy the other two gates and bring down Solaris. We've learned from Shakan's notes that the gates form the points of a triangle. One point was the Great Mausoleum. Two others remain, but we only know where one is. Yes, under the Ethos headquarters. However, it wasn't there when we followed Stone under the Ethos headquarters. If it really is there, it must be buried deep beneath the earth. How are we going to destroy it then? By combining everyone's gear power. <laughs> what are we going to do with everyone's gear? Dig a giant hole in the ground? What's wrong with that? It would take years. What if we use Shabbat's cannon? If that worked, we would have tried it already. Oh. So it must be something more powerful than Shabbat's cannon. And we don't have a Gebler battleship. Is there any weapon that powerful on Earth? Gebler battleships and Shabbat's cannons are the most powerful weapons ever produced by man. But I seem to remember seeing something. What? A weapon with firepower like those two. The FT Jasper. Her gun can take out a mountain. How about that? Saitan, what? However powerful the Jasper may be, how are we going to aim it at the Ethos headquarters? To damage something that deep underground, we would have to attack it from directly above. But the Jasper gun is... What are you saying? That we just move the SP FT Jasper on top of the Babel? Well, now that you mention it, Babel does overlook their headquarters. If we shoot it from there, it might just possibly be able to reach that far underground. But how can we move the FT Jasper? It's impossible. Something that heavy. Didn't the control room in Babel control a cannon or something? I think it moved to the giant mirror outside. Maria, do you know of anything like that? I've never heard of any anything about it, but, but it might be there. Let's go check. Alright. Wait a moment. A giant mirror and a giant cannon both from the same ruins? There might just be something in this. Like what? I have solved the puzzle. What puzzle? The Babel and Jasper ruins are from the same civilization. One far more advanced than our own. Do not the two structures seem similar to you? I believe they were both built with gears and a powerful fellow in mind. Yeah, I noticed that, but what's it all mean? It means the people who built the giant mirror at Babel Tower knew about the giant gun at Jasper. And what are you getting at? We can probably assume the mirror was built to reflect something. That something being a beam. A beam shot from the Jasper gun. Reflect? You mean that mirror can reflect a beam attack? Yes. Long ago, Babel and Jasper must have been at war. Uh, not exactly. The Babel Mirror and Jasper Gun were combined to make one weapon. 
those things are so far apart, how could they be one weapon? Well, the gates may be far apart, but aren't they still one device? Yes, I see what you mean, but what did they use that weapon for? That I do not know. Whatever. The point is, how do we use the two weapons as one? Aim the Jasper gun at the mirror and fire. The mirror will reflect the beam on the gate. Do you think it'll work? Theoretically, it will require a few minor adjustments. Adjusting the mirror is going to be rather difficult and tedious. If the two weapons are one, then it should not be too difficult. I hope. Sounds dangerous. I think it was meant to reflect shots back at the enemy. If you're wrong, it'll come back and hit you. Yes, that is why it is most difficult for the gun crew. The mirror must be hit precisely. We will need to divide into two teams. One will fire the gun, while the other will adjust the angle of the mirror to ensure the beam hits the Ethos headquarters. Since this was my idea, I will take the dangerous part of adjusting the mirror. Alright, Hyuga. We'll let you take care of that. It seems like your type of job. I'll go too. Doc might need help. It might be lonely with just Saitan and Faye, so I had better go too. Oh, that's just Ellie's way of sticking with Faye. Alright, you three take Babel. Now what about the gun? I'll do it. Looks like my kind of job. Don't worry, I won't miss. I haven't been using a gun for nothing. Well, I probably better go to the Jasper. Me Choo! Choo Choo wants to go Choo! Yes, Choo Choo! You go with Saitan and aim the mirror at the Ethos headquarters. We'll aim the Jasper gun at the mirror. Let's get back to the Yig and get going. So I think we can actually change Bart's team. We don't have to take Choo Choo, but it is very fun too. Oh no, not this. Allowing the contact with Shavat. Not only Shavat, the Ignis defeat, the Thames retreat, and yes, even Elru, you. Useless as always. A failure to begin with. Trash. What did you just say? It's the truth. And just what is that attitude? You should so show some loyalty. How dare you ridicule me by calling me trash? Damn you. Gah. Calm down, Commander. It's not good for you. You still haven't recovered from the last battle. It does not matter. The lambs are probably on their way to destroying the gate. But not this time. I'd like to see your intrinsic powers. If you aren't the trash we think you are. Damn. Mayang, launch the ship. Get to him. This time, I'll go myself. And I'll bring him down. Commander, you can't go out there like that. Commander, request permission to handle the situation. You all? We'll do our best to meet your expectations. Commander, please, you must get medical attention to make our ideals a reality. Wah, wah, wah. Well then, we are off. Oops, go back in. Alright, so we need to head. So we go to Babel Tower first. No, no. We're gonna shoot the beam at the tower. At the mirror, it'll reflect off and destroy the Ethos headquarters. We hope there's still not people in there. Otherwise, they're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> the flying penis. Doc, what should we do? Look up. There. Oh, there's the beam. That is a reflection mirror. The FT Jasper beam will be reflected off of that and destroy the gate. 
Let us hurry to the control room while their pursuers are still gone. Lats. Making good progress tonight. This part's a really tough though. <laughs> Got some pretty tough fights coming up here. <clears throat> Well then, shall we go to? All right, we can choose our party here. Probably like Choo Choo's got some pretty cool stuff. I don't know if we want to take her through this fight. The benefit that Choo Choo has is she can. Um, she's not technically a gear, so she can use her healing powers to uh, heal her in gear form, I should say. When she gets big, so she doesn't have to. She doesn't have fuel. And she just uses regular attacks. It's actually pretty helpful. Um, but Rico is an actual beast <clears throat> that will rip your face off. But Maria is also good as well. So it really comes down to Rico or Maria. For the most part, I like to go with Rico. But Maria has a little bit better chance, I think. Do I need to upgrade her gear, though? I know Rico's upgraded. I'll need to double-check Maria. She may need to... Upgrade her gear. Oh, I don't think I get a chance to, either. Well, let's hope that, uh... Maria's gear's all set. She may need an upgrade. Alright, back in Babel Tower! Did you miss it? I will control the mirror. You hold off the enemy. Is it going to be okay, Doc? We must do it. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's do our part. Billy, Billy, do you read? We are already here. Commence firing. <clears throat> no! <laughs> you are Dominia. Wait. You suppose they figured out our plan? Uh oh. Of course. The ancient mobile gun platform floating above Ignis. And this reflector here at Babel Tower. I know of your plan to use them together to destroy the gate generator below the Ethos headquarters. But, of course, I won't let you do it. For the commander's honor and the pride of the elements, you need to be more flexible. Here I come. Kelvin's gear is so awesome. It's a freaking dolphin. So good. I'm going to save my fuel here. We're going to do... Okay. Damn. Oh, 
the mess. Oh, she was absorbing whatever I hit with her. I don't know if, really know if that makes a difference though. Unless I equip a veil that can actually be helpful for that. I just start with that. Ellie is a freaking beast. Wow, almost 5,000 damage. Oh no, that healed. That's not good. She probably has elemental defenses. Oh man. <laughs> Absolute obliteration. Alright, made it to FT Jasper. <clears throat> Let us begin our preparations. Yeah, I know all about the Ether Doubler Power Magic. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good combination to absolutely destroy anything that you come in contact with. I think the only thing I have on it right now is the Power Magic. I don't have the Ether Doubler. I didn't feel like grinding for it at the time. It takes too long, but it is really helpful. Oh, a bird, the flying wolf. Talon, Talon, oh, there you are. All right already, so you are serious. You really are going to reflect a big laser off a mirror. Pretty stupid. Inverted pull-ups are really tough. But I can do 300 pull-ups, you know. Angling it for the drop ratio? Drop ratio in the atmosphere will be huge. Meanwhile, Talon's just like shouting out her physical ability prowess. I can do pull-ups. Here they come. We're so close to launching. I'm going out to return fire. Billy, you gonna be okay? I have to do it. Try to get a shot off while we hold them back. Good luck. I can't believe you'd even think of such a stupid plan. Who would have thought? Hey, you never know until you try. Keep talking while you can. The minion Kilvena should have taken over Babel Tower by now. You get out of here now. because of her HP and fuel tank are so high it's like well you kind of kind of can't not bring her 
Miss! I wonder if Wild Smile will help in this fight. I think it does. Connecting even with a wild smile. Maria, you're killing me. I should just do like triangle attacks just to build her up to three. Because she's missing all the X ones. Bart is taking a beating. connected one. Pile driver! Alright. Uh, Maria will be okay in the second fight. They're gonna have to do this fight again. Bart, he's looking a little dicey though. Robo Punch! Now, Billy, shoot! goes. Oh, barely missed. Dang. So close. We did not get a direct hit. Billy, we cannot hold out much longer. If you miss this one, it is over. Aim well. I'll let you off easy this time. Next time is for real. Damn, we blew it. How long will it hold? I'm going. Gonna have uh, Ellie do her thing. I never knew Dominia absorbed whatever uh, physical or magic attack if you at her. Uh oh. Water ball! Whew. Ellie smash! Errats have been so good in this entire run. They're just so good. Now 
that and the power magic definitely helps out. Like, it, the air rods aren't as good without the power magic. And like Seif was saying, if we had the ether doubler and an e-circuit, like, Ellie just becomes this absolute walking machine that cannot be stopped. Like, she destroys everything in her path. Missed! Don't worry about it. Bart! Calm down and aim. Those two are back. I wonder if the grav cannon on Maria will do some damage. I need them to focus their attacks on Maria anyways. Now it's not even worth it for that. Oh, I free never got to take the frame HP off Bart. He may actually could end up using it if I need him to. I forgot that he had a, a frame on. Should we give it a shot? A thousand fuel hits them both. Nah, that was nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good if it's like regular enemies. This fight is not so hot. If I upped up her uh, ether, it probably could do. A lot more damage. Connected, but blocked. Casual 2400 heal. Oof. See you block this. Oh, tombstone power driver. Ah. GG, GG. Very nice. Robo kick. Here we go, shot number two. Can this be the one? Taste. Taste! <laughs> I thought I told you to shut up. Poor Talon. And Seraphita. She's she's great though. Perfect shot. <laughs> so good.
<laughs> Billy, you did it. The plan succeeded. Great, somehow it worked. Damn, too late. What should we do, Dominion? We'll continue this later. Let's go, Kelvina. Ellie, I didn't want to be your enemy, but since our motives are different, I guess there was no choice. We'll meet again and settle things at this time. So, there's only one gate left on the surface. The problem is it's a location. But Queen Zephyr said there are three on Earth and one in Solaris. According to Shikan's report, each gate is placed in a triangle around Solaris. Let us look at the map given by the Queen, which describes the area before the gates were placed. <clears throat> this is how the land actually looks like on the other side of the invisible barrier. The gate should be set up somewhere here on this map. First, the Ignis Gate is here. The Ethos HQ in Aquavi is here, so... Well, logically thinking, the next place could be here, or here, one of the two. North or south, huh? Well, at least we have even chances of guessing which. What if we try both ways? Isn't that all it takes? That would be difficult. I doubt they expected the second gate to be destroyed, so I'm sure they'll be serious next time. We'd better plan it carefully, but quickly. In any case, we will not be able to avoid Gebler's interference, will we? Doc, Ellie, where exactly is Solaris located? There's only a map of Solaris in Solaris. I didn't even know the area of this land until I arrived here. Even in Gebler? The relations with Earth are only revealed to commanders. If that's the case, even Billy's father may not know it. Josiah left there in the middle of it. Sagirid and I were smugglers, and did not have the time to look out the window. On top of that, when going through the gate from Solaris, we transferred to other places by using the environmental plane between each gate. Remember when we made contact with the Keys of Gate and the Goliath? Same thing happens and we lose all sense of where we were before. Even if the gate divides the other space, can't you recognize its topography? Like mountains, jungles, and so on? I don't think there were mountains. More like we were surrounded by the ocean. Ocean? And it can't be the north. This is the pole. It's all covered with snow. Then it's settled. The location of the gate is south of here. The center of the triangle is the only the ocean. If the gates are placed in the highest point in the north, the center will be the continent. Hence, it coincides with Ellie's story. You may be right. Look at Faye sounding all smart. There shouldn't be any facility over the ocean. Then, underwater? If the whole area here is deep. If it exists, it must be deep down. The egg is a submarine, right? Then, what's the problem? You're crazy! It is a submarine, but not a bath escape. It isn't made for deep sea exploration. The water pressure would crush us instantaneously. We have a problem. We may be able to use the bath escapes or gears that were used by the salvagers. Salvager, right, that's it. The captain of the things must have tons of them. He owes us from last time. Let's go to the things. It may be our best choice for now. Shall we go to the things? <gasps> to the things! To hear the awesome music. So, there's one surface gate left. Ramses, he couldn't defend it. What is the purpose of his existence? Once trash, always trash. How much can one really expect? However, it must not be aligned before the Animus data is received. You're right. There is a higher probability of not getting the proper type. As it was in the past. We can't allow the lambs to go free yet. Who cares about the gate anyways? 
Krellian. This can't be. The panic has spread to Atronach. Those fools we call citizens are easily manipulated by the Emperor's words alone. You think Kane will be receptive? His body's already at the limit. He can't hold out much longer. As usual, a clone may be used. Those fools won't know the difference. And even if their barrier fails, it still will not be like the disaster before. Anyhow, if I recall, there's some very intriguing data on that memory cube. And what is that? The mother. The mother? Indeed. It is probable that the mother exists among the lands. Are you telling us our mother is somewhere else? Why didn't we notice that sooner? The sign of the mother, her persona only appears after she reaches a certain age. There is also a high probability that she transmigrated into the anti-type. The anti-type? That woman from Nissan? Here, I would like to use that nanotechnology product, Emeralda. What you retrieved from the Thames? Why? To be sure, as Mother says, that nanomachine colony, that artificial organism was a creation between contact and the anti-type 4,000 years ago. The Mother's memory. Yes, that is it. We can probably attain some kind of reaction, but even if we obtain no reaction, and if Emeralda is destroyed, I've already gathered all the data I need. Any loss of it will have no consequence to the plan. Just like their technical difficulty screen that they look at all day. A lot of deep stuff there. I did it again! I always do that. Ba, ba. Check something very quickly. Sig! Shall we launch the Yig? Let's go! On our way to the Thames. Go! Go! Why aren't you moving? Thank you. Oh, 
love the Thames theme so much. It's the captain! What's wrong? What do you need? Point X one five zero seven Z one two three five. Hans, does that sound familiar? It's Sargasso Point. What? That's Sargasso. Sargasso. What's that? It's a cave formed from microbes over many years. It's supposed to have hidden treasure, but no one's ever returned from there. The story is that the cave itself is alive. Are you going to the Sargasso? It looks like it. Your gears can't dive that deep. If they did, you would not be able to move. Equip your underwater gear here, and take your ship as far as you can and dive in with your gear. I'll go wake up those winnows up right now. Really? It's okay with you? Thanks for always helping us out, Captain. Don't mention it! Ah, oh, I thought he was going to do it with the men of the sea! It looks like they're done. That was fast. Oh, here it is! Of course, we're... Men of the sea, right? Blimey, I think he's got it. Take care of that. <laughs> he made it see blocked them. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you how to operate them underwater. It's easy. You can jump in water without your feet touching the ground. Keep jumping to build up speed. You can swim pretty well in a gear, but there may be places you can't get past if you don't do it well. Got it. Thanks. No need for thanks. Maybe you can buy something from our gear shop. Looks like there may be some new booty to sell. Booty! Hans! Guess we'll just have to stick with the wandering seas and salvaging. Seems Thames will have to continue this haphazard lifestyle after all. Oh my god, I love you, Hans. Alright, to the gear shop. Looks like uh, we got some gear upgrades. It basically means we got some money to spend. Booty! <laughs> oh yeah, new engine, let's go! And we got a new frame, and we got, no, same armor. Alright, so that'll help out on our expenses. Uh, definitely gonna bring Ellie along, so let's upgrade her stuff. Yeah, that's definitely gonna help out without having to spend an extra piece of money. I think we'll also go ahead and take Bart with us as well. Um... Nah, definitely take Bart. Bart's gear should, yeah, still be better than this equipment. Because he's a freaking monster with his Omni gear right now. Alright, there we go. It's all the money we need to buy. Do I really need to buy Chaos Rod? It's only five, too. I'm not even going to buy it. Good. Where's my Corona? And don't forget the one. Hey, yo, Maria, get over here. We never did get that other chest here, did we? Nah, we're just going to have to bypass it for now. Uh, where's the door? I was right by it. Disturbing our amore time. No. Well then, go away. 
Alright, so what if you say yes? See? Maybe you need some manners, muchacho. Oh, he does the card game, doesn't he? Uh, we haven't done any card games yet. I guess I could show off the card game. First, I'll deal you and your opponent 26 cards each. Then I will place four cards in front of each player as your current hands. And then I place another card on the left hand side looking from your viewpoint. Up to here, I do automatically for you, but from here on the game starts. You must take your first four cards and the remaining 21 cards and place them all on top of the two center cards faster than your opponent can. Of course, there are certain rules for placing the cards. Place a card on top of another card if it is numerically in order, like one number higher. In this case, where the three you can play a four. Or one number lower. In this case, where the four you can play a three. But if the numbers aren't in order, it won't go. But there is a K, which is 13, and an A, which is a 1, and vice versa. Oh, all right, yeah, I know how to do this. Can you teach your event for a second? Absolutely, Buckeye, please. This is a safe place. Or is it? No, it is. <laughs> Please, Buckeye, go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Sure. See if we can get our first win against Joe. We got nothing. Oh, wait. Uh, nothing. Crap, crap. Got him. Uh, uh. Nope. Shit. All right, you got me there. I got nothing. Ah, oh, he's got all the cards. I got nothing, man. Oh my god. No. Uh. All right. So it'll be the left one. One card. Super frustrated when students subtle, subtly imply that it is your fault they did poorly, such as these tests and explanations are not always clear with how you want it written. That is just someone looking to, yeah, excuses. How easy it is to beat you, amigo! Go away. <laughs> yeah, that's just clearly them using it as an excuse. He a what's up, dude? He's got all the cards. Exodia. Obliterate. 
Ready to go to Sargasso? Sure. Yeah, exactly. Like, that and... Like, most students know that there's always, like, for the most part, the resources that they can use to, to improve their grade. Blaming the teacher is just stupid. <laughs> That's just, you're just excuses. Yeah, but especially if, like, if, like, the whole class did bad or something. Just, like, one little person is like, yeah, no, you're just, you're just not being fair. <laughs> All right, so we're underwater. Whoa, 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 whoa. Saitan, who the hell said that you were allowed to come on this expedition? What is going on? Where did, how did he just magically come into the party? What the heck? Excuse me, Saitan. No one invited you. you go, I need to go have a word with Margie. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you, Buckeye. I mean, I, I you're uh, preaching to the choir. You see here. I'm, I'm no teacher, but like I totally get you. Saitan powers, dude. What the frig was that? <laughs> Where did it even go from? <laughs> All of a sudden I'm underwater. It's like, hey, I'm sighting it. I'm here. I'm like, dude. Not only have I never made any I haven't made a single gear upgrade for Saitan this entire seed seed game. Because it, it never made sense because I never used him in gear. And I'm certainly not about to use him now when I have Ellie, who's all jacked up, Bart, who has the Omni gear, and Faye, who we have to have anyways. Video game. <laughs> we gotta do this animation again. <laughs> Love it. Ellie. Ellie. There we go. Much better. Give me my Ellie back. Ah, these little guys are easy. These little jelly guys are easy. One must submit to the drug test. Ellie's like, mm, yeah, about that. So the path will split up right here. Go left first. There's some side areas you can go to in the underwaters here. That'll lead to some items. From what I remember. We'll know right away if this is the right way. So it should lead to what looks like a dead end. It's not really a dead end. Merman, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, 2,000, damn it. How 
was in your day. right here as well. Oh, this weird looking thing. Death Scythe! Look at that face! Yikes! Still alive. There we go. Radiance. Very nice. That's a good spell for Faye. Got another one. fast. This one's pretty fast as long as these hits connect. Zero damage. Damn. Some weird stipulation on this side. Not sure. I should just have Ellie do magic, yeah, since that's obviously not gonna do anything. Yo, Sean, what's up, dude? 
Thanks for the good luck. find a gear of Xeno, possibly, in this stream? Potentially? Police, thank you. Potentially? So this way was to the save point and the mermaid mail. So I think I just need to like try to inch my way through that section or do I have to go further back? Another fight? Blocks my way there. Uh, try to run from this way too. I'd rather just get through this section. Whoa. the heel fey now. Thank you. The 
surface yet again, and yet another fight. Let's just do it. Oh yeah, these do zero. Yikes, why do you do so much damage? Zero! I did not. Really high defense, I guess. All three of them don't do anything until at least their level one combo. Good to know. Insulated AR. To the surface. Two chests. Dark Rod. The treasure box was empty. I heard a sound somewhere. I believe that turns off the vent. We get to that one section. Oh, the Dark Rod is a character item. Okay. That was gear. It's a lot of seaweed. Whee! Getting sucked into the abyss! here before we trigger another fight. Death Blower 2. Hell yeah. Is this the third gate? Oh my goodness. It's her. Who are you? It's my favorite. I will kill you. <laughs> Steer your skier. How do you do? I am Rattan, one of followers of Krellian. Please excuse me, I'd like to show you my face, but as a result of the human machine fusion, a follower of Krellian, not Ramses or the elements? Our current task is totally about inspection of the evidence. It'll ruin everything if someone is dead to the world as he appeared here. A person who's calm, cool, like myself, would be perfect for the job. Oh, but don't worry. I'll just be inspecting here. Emerald, here hero, will take care of you. Look who it is. Kill you. <laughs> Emerald is going to kill us. I love Emerald so much. 
booster! Ellie, you know what to do. Both of those. in Suplex City. GG. Nemo wave. Here comes the final tier for Ellie. Perfect timing too. Kim? Aha! I see. Reckless. Now that. You should view it as a release of memory, or maybe a recording. It turned out just as Krillian said. It is a manifestation of the imprint. At any rate, it is proof. For that, excuse me. I must report the results. Oh yes, go ahead and take the girl. Use her any way you like. After all, she is your daughter. <gasps> Faye is a daughter? He said it in quotations, so I guess that means he's not. We're not going to talk about that. Oh boy, there goes gate number three. Scooped him right on up. Marauder! Kim, 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 Kim. <laughs> Let's see. What the hell is it saying? Does Faye resemble someone you know? What do you mean resemble? Kim is Kim? Kim? The person resembling Faye, right? Who is he? Is he the one who created you? 
What do you mean by creating me? Kim is Kim, don't you see? You're really here. I thought I was dreaming. The person in my dream. Yes, Kim, I was dreaming. A long, long dream. You seem to resemble him. Someone important to her. Probably the person who created her. Huh? Hey, you. My name is Faye, not Kim. Now I know. Faye's Kim. Listen, listen. I was dreaming. A long, long dream. <laughs> Kim is fine. For her, Kim means more than just a name. More like father. Father? No, no. I mean, as a general meaning. Listen, listen, Kim. I was dreaming about really old times. Kim was a much older, and I was in some clear tube. Kim was putting many candles on a white soft confection. I don't know why he was doing that. But I sensed he was looking forward to me coming out of the tube. But soon everyone was gone. My, do my body disappeared. Then I was somewhere dark for a long time. Please, promise you'll stay base Kim? Huh? Uh, yeah. Really? Really, truly? Really. Don't bother me. Who is this old lady? I'm talking to Kim. Old lady? Maybe I should bury her back at the ocean floor. <laughs> Why don't you be her Kim? The Fay Kim. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, do you have a name? Oh no, you're a cruel phase, Kim. It's me, Emeralda. Emeralda. Kim named me because I have emerald hair. Don't you remember? Okay, okay. Emeralda, right? Alright, Emeralda. I'll stay with you this time. I promise. Really? Really, truly? I doubt Krillian acted on his own to use her as a disposable soldier. Some information existed in her which passed over to Krillian. Who knows what he will do next? We must find Solaris before that happens. Received a telegram from Shabbat. Due to a weakening gate, a city that maybe Solaris has been discovered. Perfect. Let us get back to Shabbat for now. Oh, snap, son. We're gonna bust a wide open. Bust a wide open. Bust a wide open. Bust a wide open. Oh. Just magically appears. We did it. We found Solaris. Well, it's part of Solaris. <laughs> but yeah, it uh, it becomes visible once the three gates have been destroyed, which we finally did. And then it just kind of is in the sky. Swing. That's not what she said. And it too looks like a penis. Yes. <laughs> now it looks like something very strange.
we are finally able to locate and see Solaris after destroying the three gates on the surface. However, unless we destroy the final main generator on the Solaris homeland, we cannot completely wipe out their gate. Maria, this is where you and Sibson come in. Now that the gate is weakened, we can use Sibson's heavy particle cannon to distort the space and neutralize the gate for a brief moment. Upon penetrating into Solaris, it would be best to move about in small groups so that we do not attract attention. Well, if possible, I would like to. Yes, I can guide you through Solaris. I'll go too. I'm a little concerned if it's Ellie. What are you? Wait, I didn't mean it like... Understood? Then Ellie, Faye, and I will move about together. The rest will form a separate group to sneak in. Maybe it's a satellite. Maria, it looks like you and Saibzen will wait outside on standby. I understand. Well, let us break up for now. Once you are all ready, we should all meet here before we take off. Forcing himself in, I know. This time he has to. You're going, you're going, you're going, aren't you, to Solaris? Yes, I have chosen my own path. There is no turning back. You will be hurt. They will also be hurt. Indeed. But I cannot find any other path to choose. If I happen to overcome by the dark side, at that point, I have already. Don't say anything more. I already know. Now here, this is your sword. Please. Please come back alive. Then you too. Please take care of Midori. This is where Saitan gets his sword? Saitan with his sword, that's when he becomes like really good, like character battle wise. His gear is pretty good too, because the gear can use a sword. <sighs> Listen, Hyuga, I'm going to Solaris too. Don't misunderstand me. It doesn't mean I'll help you. I don't know what you're thinking or trying to do, but if you take their side, I'll kill you without a doubt, even from the back. Yes, I will be counting on that. So discouraging. <laughs> Maybe Jesse, like, deep down knows that Saitan is such a dicey dude that he's like, all right, you really want to go to Solaris really bad, so that's a red flag. Like, why are you just so enamored? What a fantastic stopping point uh, for today. Um, so the reason why I say that is this is actually the last part in the game where you can do like, well, there's not really like side stuff to do, but like this is the last part in the game where you can go visit locations as they stand now. Uh, without spoiling anything, we're going into Solaris uh, which means there, that's the point of no return. Once we go into Solaris, like the entirety of the rest of the game is now mainlined and it's just freaking one thing after it's nonstop from here on out. Like it is, there's no like moment like that I can really think of too much where it slows down and it stops. Like from here on, it is like pedal to the metal all the way through to, to literally like the end of the game from this section here. Um, I think the next stream that we do will actually be able to finish disc one. I, that's how f uh, good of a pace that we're on right now. Uh, Cause Solaris is a huge, huge section in the game. Um, it, uh, after, like Solaris leads into disc two, pretty much. Um, so I think, yeah, next stream, definitely. We'll probably be able to finish up disc one. And then I'm thinking we can wrap up Xeno within two to three streams right now. We're actually uh, We're in the home stretch. Point. Oops, sorry, I have a stream open. <laughs> we are now officially in the home stretch, and uh, we should be able to finish up pretty soon. So there you go. Um, thank you all for watching. My throat is a little uh, fatigued from speaking. A lot of text in this little chunk of story that we did.
Um, I am done for now. Thanks everybody for watching today. Unholy, Sean, and Mark, thank you earlier for the raid if you're still here. I appreciate that. For now, I'm going to send you guys over to Mr. Weff Jabster, who is doing a Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. Hope you all have a great rest of your, what is today? Tuesday? There you go. <laughs> well, thank you all. I'm really excited for the next, pretty much the rest of Xeno. Like, the, the rest of this game, it gets so good. Like, it gets unridiculously good from here on out. And really excited. So here we go. Let's say hi to Jeff. Thank you all again. And uh, catch you next time. Pippity poppy, give me the solid. Yes, sir.